lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Power Beauty and it's time for June favourites. Um, it's been a really good month where I live, we've had some really good weather. Craig and I made it into the sea and had a snorkel, it was a bit cold um, and I had to acclimatise, which I did quite quickly. It was a bit of a shock, 15 degrees um, and I had sort of brain freeze. The only way to acclimatise is basically put your head under the water. Simple as that, it is a bit of a shock, but it was really nice to have a snorkel, although visibility wasn't great, it was just nice to be in there and in the water and in the sea and batting the jellyfish away. We have quite a lot of jellyfish around at the moment, so uh, got to be careful of that. Some of them are fine, some of them are not so fine, so you know it's always best to just be cautious. Um, I've got a few favourites for you books that I'm reading which kind of link into my favourites and so we better get started. My first favourite is a place we visited with Craig's parents and it's actually about 10 minutes from where we live. We'd never been there, we will definitely be going back several times because it is just the most beautiful, beautiful place and it was Agatha Christie's summer home called Greenway. It is owned by the National Trust. Um, it was bequeathed to the National Trust by the Agatha Christie family and her grandson bequeathed all the belongings that were in the house which makes for the most fabulous, fabulous experience. There's no roped off sections, you walk around the rooms and all the belongings are out there basically as they lived with them. So you really feel that family environment. It's one of the best places I've ever been. I used to be a member of the National Trust, so I've been to quite a lot of houses, and I think this is probably the most relaxed that I've been in. A really lovely experience. Craig's dad and I were playing croquet on the lawn. It was, it was just beautiful. I did film um, a bit of a vlog there, which was, I think, in my last vlog. So do check it out, because it was such a beautiful day and a lovely place. But we really, really enjoyed that. And you'll see later when I show you my books, a link up with this. But yeah, Greenway, great. If you get an opportunity and you happen to be sort of in the Devon area, pay it a visit. It's, it's just gorgeous. My next favourite, we're on to skincare. And I've dipped in and out with this brand for quite a few years. I'd never tried the original of this, but I'd heard good things and I was tempted. I like to try the odd moisturiser. And it's Philosophy's Renewed Hope in a Jar. And I really liked this. I like the texture, it absorbed into my skin very quickly. It didn't leave the glow that maybe the Liz Earl moisturiser does, but it did leave a nice surface for makeup. It hydrated my face. I certainly didn't have any sort of dehydrated patches. Makeup didn't collect or gather on my face or look sort of powdery. Um, yeah, a really, really nice product. It doesn't really have a discernible um, sort of fragrance, nothing strong, but a very, very easy, workable texture. I, I really liked it, and I would certainly consider getting another pot of this. Uh, just a nice moisturiser. Sticking with kind of skincare makeup, and this is featured in, I think, probably a negative um, review. It may have been a written one on my blog, or I may have verbally said, I wasn't keen on it. I do like it when products kind of prove me wrong and this has in a different way. It's the Estee Lauder Revitalising Supreme CC Global Anti-Aging Cream. Um, I didn't really like this. What I wanted was CC creams that I was used to that even the skin out, not heavy coverage but just enough and this didn't really do a lot for me. Wasn't impressed. I put it away in a drawer and just ignored it basically for quite a few months. Um, I decided to rotate my makeup, use things up and this came out again and one day I just used it as a primer and it is absolutely amazing. I don't know what it does, it works with all the foundations I have, it just seems to give that base that it's not mattified but it gives a glow and it just makes foundation look fantastic and it really made my skin look great. I've even gone back to using it on its own on really hot days. It doesn't sort of 
even the skin out as much as maybe the Dior CC cream or the Bourjois CC cream but it just gives enough warmth to the face a sort of healthy glow I do prefer more coverage but some days I just cannot be bothered so I've been proven wrong I love it and I would certainly get another tube of this I think it's a really nice product another skincare product and this is a collagen drink I've had these before but I've only ever had the powdered format which annoys me just the hassle of mixing it with a drink and getting the mixture right and no not for me but this is just basically so easy it's in a bottle and you just drink it preferably with your breakfast it is a food supplement this is not in place of eating it's not a diet or anything like that you preferably have it with food and I have mine with breakfast one of these every morning and that's it I have a 30 day supply this is my last one which I'm very sad about um, I didn't buy these these were um, a PR sample I actually applied for the campaign for this I wasn't approached I wanted to see what all the fuss was about I've been reading up on things like this so I approached them and asked if they'd consider me for the campaign which they did and um, basically all I have to do is use it and review it simple as that so I'm not getting paid I'm not getting sponsored or anything like that it's totally up to me if I want to feature it in my favorites and I did because I really noticed a difference and um, the first one too much information alert but you know, I want to be honest with you, it made me go for a wee an awful lot. That probably lasted two or three days and wore off. I felt more revitalised, I had more energy. I also found I wasn't nibbling and snacking as much. I'm a dreadful snacker, I'll eat between meals. Um, yeah, if there's any sort of bits on the side, I'll eat those. But with this, it just seemed to stop me being hungry I'd have my breakfast I'd have my lunch I'd have dinner and I was happy a nice drink it's sort of a tropical almost pineapple taste it's not a horrible taste if you've ever had the Barocca um, vitamin effervescent tablets it tastes very similar to that um, yeah I did notice a difference I did notice a slight change in my skin my dark circles weren't as dark which is always something I noticed straight away I've enjoyed using it and I have been debating whether to commit to buying a supply it is quite expensive but it's kind of skincare from within it's as simple as that and with seeing the results and how I felt sort of physically and mentally about everything I just see it as a positive so a huge favourite in June I'm very sad it's the last bottle and I'm certainly looking into committing to a month's supply again okay hair we are going across the different topics and um, this I found in my local super drug and um, there's a huge selection of shampoos and conditioner but this is absolutely amazing it's ever straight brazilian keratin smooth conditioner from ox ogx ox 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 why do they always have these names that you never think about pronouncing until you're on camera anyway it is amazing it's sort of um a brownie color when it comes out which i was a bit surprised about because you would just expect a white conditioner it smells of coconut which you know I love it's got avocado oil cocoa butter and it smooths the cuticle for straight strong tresses adding brilliant glow and luminescent shine um, a rich formula of Brazilian coconut oil I absolutely love this I will certainly be looking at others in the range I just plumped for this because I love the smell of it because I do take lids off and smell things the only thing I will say is it's an absolute pig to get out of the bottle you really need strength to take this conditioner out but it is absolutely gorgeous um, and available at Superdrug and they seem to have offers on all the time so they have a full range of shampoos and conditioners I particularly love this and it makes my hair so smooth and healthy and there's such a glow to it and it really works alongside any colour shampoos that I'm using really really nice product and I will definitely be looking to repurchase this 
My last is a colour product and it's a highlighter and I dip in and out of highlighters. I have a big thing that I love fluid highlighters and then I get bored and then I like cream highlighters and then I get bored and I like the Balm Company Mary Luminizer but I do find it's just that little bit too sparkly sometimes but this it doesn't look it but it really is a very smooth looking highlighter and it's the Kevin Arquan highlighter and this is in starlight it's a pinky tone I prefer pinky tones on my face if I use gold tones my face tends to look quite dirty it's the only way I can tell you guys but this is just beautiful and the little goes a long way it gives you that smooth brightness without the shimmer gorgeous product very sort of slimline packaging as well so it's easy to take away they are not the lowest price brand on the market but it always gives results and I do like Kevin Arquan and I'm absolutely loving the highlighter at the moment it's sort of my everyday one yes I will get bored but I'll come back to it but if you're looking for a highlighter and a powder one but you don't want the shimmer and glitter this is worth thinking about Okay, another favourite, and it links in again with the books I'm reading, as I've said, as does the Agatha Christie one. Another favourite was a film that Craig and I went to see a few nights ago, and it was Mr Holmes, starring Ian McKellen as Sherlock Holmes. It's one of the best films I have ever seen. Just the scenery, the costume, the whole premise of the film, beautiful, and Ian McKellen... Sir Ian McKellen is absolutely outstanding. If he doesn't get some Oscar Golden Globe nod, there is no justice in this world and they don't know what they're talking about. His characterisation of Sherlock Holmes was amazing. I think we're so familiar with this sort of bolshy, confident character of Sherlock Holmes that sort of bustles his way through things and just knows what's going on where Ian McKellen's portrayal gave him a very sensitive, delicate, vulnerable side. And you actually really feel for the character and he plays him as a very old man whose memory is dipping in and out of things. And his portrayal is just stunning. Absolutely. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. It is just beautiful cinema from start to finish and it really had an impact on me. We got in the car and all the way home I was just blah, 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 blah about the whole film. I just really, really loved it. Hence my choice of books. And so I came home and thought, I've really got to find the book that it's based on. Um, sometimes I read the books first, sometimes I read the books after. In this case, it's after, and it's based on a book by Mitch Cullen, which I think was originally, just let me double check this, something, oh, A Slight Trick of the Mind, that's it, but it's now classed as Mr. Holmes. So I got the book to read. Um, I've started it really, really good. Um, it's just beautifully written, and you can see that the film very easily fell from the book. Great film. I'm loving the read. I really like Mitch Cullen. I know he's quite a Sherlock Holmes fan, but he writes him beautifully and very sensitively as well. It's really nice to see a different edge to such a strong character. Loved it. And certainly it's worth getting the book as well. My next book links in with my first favourite, which is Agatha Christie and this is a biography of Agatha Christie by Laura Thompson and it's basically start to finish of Agatha Christie's life so everything from childhood to her first marriage to a second marriage to her disappearance to her books her films and all the connections in between and her general life um really interesting very interesting character. Her upbringing was actually in Torquay, so she lived in the area, hence why her holiday home was very near to her original home. But yes, I'm really enjoying this. And it's interesting to sort of know about the person behind the books. I think you have an image of people that write detective fiction and you kind of think, hmm, you know, what kind of person? But for such an English refined lady, it's quite interesting where the ideas came from. So, yes, really enjoying this at the moment. I'm really enjoying Mr. Holmes as well. So please go see the film. 
I just please just, just go see the film. Right, that's it. June favourites done, finished. Take care, everybody, and I'll be back very soon. Bye. <laughs>